So the vinyl wrap and the new wheels and tires might not have gone just as I planned. But let me explain. <laughs> What is up guys, this is Wayne from Fade the Black. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know you've seen my 2015 Impala LTZ many times on the channel and I'm constantly doing little things to make it look different than the rest because you know that's what I do. You gotta make your things look different. You can't be roll rolling around in the same type of vehicle and the same looks everyone else has. Now, I really like my Impala LTZ. I've had it for about five or six years now, but I waited for a long time to put rims on and I have a video on that and I'll tell you why. I'll leave a link to that up here. But I added some vinyl wrap to it because I wanted to change it up. So now you guys know I had vinyl wrap over on the corner. I got the roof wrap, I got the door handles wrap, the bow ties are wrapped. But on this side, I didn't really have any wrap. So I wanted to add some vinyl wrap to this corner to, so when people see the car from this side, they see some vinyl wrap. And then when they see it from that side, they see vinyl wrap. Now I use the same Avery Dennison color shift film so when the car goes past, the vinyl changes color. But I guess I was wasn't kind of thinking when I just quickly added a little design because I've been told it kind of looks like the Nickelodeon splatter well I didn't quite think of that when I was doing it I kind of whipped something up really quick you know it's something different something to try you know I'm trying to kind of catch the eye of something as you're rolling by but that's what I've been told it looks like a Nickelodeon so I guess I'll you guys can leave a comment down below let me know what you think um, I whipped it up pretty quick I kind of just put some knifeless tape on there added some vinyl and I kind of just went with it but it goes well with the roof and the door handles and all the other wrap trim on there I really like this color I don't want to tear my car down to do a full wrap on it because when you're so busy with window tint and doing other things, you don't really have a ton of time to wrap multiple vehicles. You know, I just got done with that white truck and that took a lot of time. So I just wanted to add a little bit of more color. I like the blacked out look, but I don't want my vehicle to be totally black. So I just added color. Now let's talk about the rims, the 22 inch Asante Black Label Monarchs that I put on a month or so ago. If you haven't seen the video when I added the 22 inch rims and tires on the Impala, I'll leave a link to that video right here. So like I said before, I waited four years to put the rims and tires on. I finally got the wheels and tires on. Even one of the guys, Luke over at America Auto Sales says, man, you're going to put those wheels on that car with these roads in town. So ever since I put the wheels and tires on, I was worried. I thought I was going to hit a big bump, bend one of these rims, blow a tire. I haven't done that. So far, so good. I might be jinxing myself, but I did hit a curb. I was taking my kids to the movies the other week and I pulled up out front to see if I could park out front. I backed up. I heard that noise and I hit a curb. Let me show you what I hit on the rear rim on the passenger side. So when you look at these wheels and tires, you can tell this rim is sticking out. It is right on the edge. And I knew that that was going to be suspect. It was going to be really crazy when you get close to any type of curbs or any type of big bumps that this rim edge is exposed. But that wrap tight look is something that I just like to have when I'm rocking wheels and tires on the vehicle. And now at the same time, we know this tire is barely even there. So it's not going to be a lot of rim protection when you're coming up to a curb or a certain situation. And I knew that. So what happened when I backed up going in front of the movie theater, I hit this whole part of the rim on the curb. They made that loud noise. It was this it's just gut wrenching. It hits you right in the heart. But this is a satin finish on this wheel. So what I did, I went to Menards. I got some satin paint. I masked the whole wheel off and I sprayed this area. And now, honestly, you can't even notice that it is rubbed. I got away clean. I have no big chunks or dents coming out of the rim. So I got lucky on that one. So now I just really need to be careful with these wheels because you can see that edge of the wheel is right there on the tire. And the same goes for the front. It's not a whole lot of play there when, you, when you're messing around trying to ride on rims with tires that tight. So I'm gonna take just a quick second to give you a little montage of the vinyl wrap and of the rims again. For those who haven't seen it, I haven't done any video with the new vinyl wrap on the side over here. So let's just check it out for a few seconds.
with my business, you know, window tinting, vinyl wrapping, uh, decals, accessories, and stuff like that. This is pretty much what you do. You take a plain vehicle and you make it look different. You help a customer out with their vision, with their ideas, and also with your ideas and your vision, and you try to put it into place and you see what you come up with. Like I said before, I really didn't have a plan when I put the vinyl on this side of the car. I just wanted to bring more color over here. I didn't have a design or anything in mind, really. I kind of just whipped it up and just ran with it. The cool thing with vinyl wrap is if you don't really like it or you don't really care for something, you can just heat it up, peel it off, and it'll come right off. The paint underneath is fine. So I tried this. Now, would I love to just wrap this whole car in this color change? Yeah. Could I do it? Yes. But right now, like I said, I don't fully 100% want to take the time to do that. I like just putting a little bit of splashes of color on this car. And to be 100% honest with you, I kind of feel like just changing the roof wrap and changing the whole theme up. But we'll see how that goes. I mean, I'm still enjoying this because I really like this color. I like the color shift, how it changes in the sunlight. It made it always looks different. Um, and like I said before, I haven't done a crazy amount to this car, but I've done enough to just to make it look different, you know? So I'm happy with it. You know, so I appreciate everyone watching the videos. Like I said before, man, I got some different content that's gonna be coming to the channel. I got a whole new thing that's gonna be a part of the fade to black, you know, situation. So stay tuned if you want to smash that subscribe button i got something different that's going to be coming along it's going to be helping me in my window tinting business i'm working on it now i'm not going to say too much yet but you're going to have to smash that subscribe button so you know what's going on so thanks for watching man i appreciate it i'll be back with more updates i'll be back with more information i got more window tinting content coming soon so just stay faded until next time peace